praise the lord hallelujah father we thank you we give you praise we magnify your name we thank you because there is none like unto thee we just give you praise words are not enough to appreciate you thank you for life thank you for all you continue to do day in day out every time in our lives in our family in our nation everywhere we find ourselves we give you praise we magnify your name in jesus name amen hallelujah praise the lord father beloved let's open our bibles this morning to psalm 56 and we're reading verse 3 psalm 56 and verse 3 scripture records in the niv said when i am afraid i put my trust in you when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in Jesus' name. Amen. But when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Every one of us is afraid of something. And that's why we are talking about when I am afraid today. When I am afraid. We're all afraid of something. Sometimes who we are or our the things we are capable of doing just comes to the fore. We just realize that we have what I would call the defects of fault. We have abilities that are scary. Yes, scary. Now this is not about what anyone else is doing. It's not even about what others are causing you to do you are just bothered either because of who and what extent you can go on things how depraved you could be and it eats you and you realize i need something done here sometimes it's with some disease that runs in your lineage or that you're already dealing with Sometimes we are afraid for the future. We are afraid for a spouse, whether something happening to them, or even having one to begin a lifelong relationship with. Or sometimes afraid of the decisions we have taken in our marriages, in our relationships, that are detrimental. Those choices to cheat when we could not have. Or we are afraid of our government what they are able to do, what they are not doing, and all that strongs us in the face. Sometimes it's about failure, right? Or perhaps you have to speak somewhere and you are scared, scared stiff. Praise the Lord. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. David got a different dose of this too. Remember, the psalmist is also David. And when he got a different dose of this in uh, uh, the book of Samuel, the people rose up against him and blamed him for something that happened even to him that he was suffering from. All right, they went for a war, and before they came back, uh, the Amalekites came from another direction and took their wives and children. David's wife and children, wives too. We also included so it wasn't like it wasn't affected but the people agonized and threw all their frustrations at him and actually stoned him and scripture said david encouraged himself in the lord is god and again he tells us that this first psalmist an evidence of what he goes through he says when i am afraid i put my trust in you if you are able to read the whole of psalm 54 and also Psalm 56, you see that he's afraid in this case of what the enemies could do. They were in hot pursuit. He said all day long they pressed their attack. They pursue him. In their pride, they are attacking him. Perhaps that's what you're afraid of. And that's what the Psalm deals with. It deals with fear. So though David was a mighty warrior, he was not immune to the to this emotion, fear. 
Now you know where there is fear, faith goes out of the window. But good thing is, David found a cure for fear. And that's what he records here in this psalm. In other psalms that we have read, we see him continuously appreciating God, you know, giving God praise. Now, but he gives us the summary of it when he's afraid. He puts his trust in God. And how does he do this? If you read through the whole of Psalm 56, you begin to pick some key points. You remember, and David makes us to remember something. That see, remember that God is with you. Yes, God is with you. And that's why you should put your trust in him. Praise the Lord. Now, because God is with you, the second point you must face, therefore, to put your trust in him yes put your trust in him now once you trust him for protection if you can trust him so you remember that he's with you you trust him for protection then just be praising him because you have come to a truth that is beyond learning that cannot be changed by choice or by what man wants or does not want yes God is with you trust him for protection Praise him for fulfilling his promise. He said, when you pray, believe that God has answered. So praise him. When you trust, believe that God is there for you because he is. Praise him for fulfilling his promise of being with you. Little wonder, Jesus' name was God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. He is with me. He is with you. Irrespective of where you've been and where you are coming from, he is with you. Now, based on this, praising Him, appreciating Him, then use the resources God has given you. Some days ago, we reminded ourselves that it is in us all that we want. Everything that we want for our next level is in us. Use what you have. God has blessed you with. He has blessed you with the ability around you, the people around you, things around you, for where He's taking you to. Just trust him and not in your understanding. Now, but you can't do this without Jesus in your life. With Jesus in your corner, oh, everything will become so good and beautiful. He knocks at the door of our hearts. He wants to walk with us. He said, come, let's reason together. Even if your sin be as dark as, be as, as, dark as whatsoever. He said, come, let's reason. He said, they shall be whiter than snow. You need to give your life to Jesus. You need to renew your life. Call the following number 080 I repeat 080 And we'll be there to join you in prayers as Jesus leads the way. God bless you. Amen.